in times of universal deceit. Telling the truth is a revolutionary act. I gave you a little bit too much truth and now I must be silenced. Banned by Facebook, banned by Instagram, and now the media says Louis Farrakhan is far right. What? They obviously banned Farrakhan at the same time to give them the excuse that this wasn't political. It was totally political. This is nothing less than election meddling. Everyone Facebook has banned was instrumental in getting Donald Trump elected. This is punishment. This is a political purge. This has nothing to do with hate or violating terms of service. Russians buy a few Facebook ads. Leftists. This is horrendous. This is election meddling. Democracy is at stake. Facebook bans most of the people who helped get Trump elected. Leftists and boomers. Herderm, a private company can do what it likes. The creepiest thing is not the bans. It's the threat that anyone else will be banned for talking about the people who were banned. That's chilling. That's giant corporations enforcing their own communist Chinese style social credit system. And leftists love it. I was given no reason whatsoever for being banned by Facebook or Instagram. So I'm dangerous. Someone who makes meme videos laughing at social justice warriors. Or is handing the power to decide who gets to have free speech to a handful of giant politically partisan corporations dangerous. What's more dangerous? They put me on a list with terrorists, human traffickers, and serial killers. Because I criticise modern art and modern architecture. Because I dare criticise mass immigration. Because I dare criticise a belief system. Yet you still host Antifa accounts which threaten to assassinate the president. You still host accounts belonging to the sicko who sent death threats to Ben Shapiro's family. This is truly, truly clown world. And notice how the media were tipped off over an hour in advance of me getting banned. The same media that's been lobbying for conservatives to be silenced, censored, and deplatformed for the past two years. There are barely any real journalists left. They're all activists, abusing their power, working hand in hand with big tech to eliminate their competition. When are we going to see any kind of sensible regulations or laws to stop this? They're now removing people's ability to have bank accounts and credit cards because they have the wrong opinions. They're literally trying to remove your right to buy and sell. This is biblical. No right to commerce unless you have the mark. And what is the mark? Total intellectual castration and obedience. So this looks like it's the end. I'll still be at summit.news while that exists. While I exist as my entire purpose for existing is snuffed out. While society is handed over to deranged, infantilized crybabies who think hate speech is challenging their stupid opinions. Hysterical, authoritarian clowns have seized control of the new public square and conservatives did nothing to stop it. The Trump administration did nothing to stop it. You thought it would stop at Alex Jones. You think it's gonna stop at me. You think it's gonna stop at Facebook accounts. They even demanded YouTube remove Ben Shapiro. They want your bank accounts. They want your home. They want you disappeared. If freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent we may be led like sheep to the slaughter.